your thoughts about what you've seen on film. I've had a chance to initially, let's go ahead and throw this out there, the initial comparison to what Coach Dawson is bringing to the University of Miami. Who do you think Miami fans is, is saying that he's similar to, Mark? That coached at Miami. Oh, that coached at Miami. Yep. Who do you think that they're saying? Well, he's not similar to Dan Enos. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm trying to think before Dan Enos. Uh, Them Kings just answered it for you. Red Lashley? Yep. Oh, That's the okay. person that everybody automatically, you hear a certain term, you hear a group of five, you hear offense, you automatically think they, they're going straight to Coach Lashley. Now, it's a it's an ever so slightly change in the philosophy. Okay. Here's why. A big difference in the air raid as opposed to the spread. Now, when you say that, it's just like saying um, chocolate cake. Okay, I probably shouldn't be thinking about chocolate cake after the gym, but who doesn't think about chocolate cake after the gym? Unless you're allergic. There's different kinds of chocolate cake, Mark. You could do chocolate uh, double-layered layered cake. You could do uh, better-than-sex chocolate cake. You can do chocolate cake with vanilla inside, chocolate cake with all chocolate, where it's chocolate icing, chocolate cake itself. You can do a chocolate pound cake. You can do all different kinds of ways in using the vague term of chocolate cake, okay? Yes, the fat guy made a cake joke. Yes, that's what it is. So when someone says air raid, there's different variations of that offense, right? You have now a lot of people like to do this thing where if they run the ball, they throw power in there because it sounds cool. The power spread, the power raid. If they run an up-tempo where it's just focused on the quarterback, it's a true air raid. If it's a balance and they, they run the ball, plus they also pass the ball, then what do they call that, Mark? It's a balance raid, okay? we got all these different terminologies, but it's mainly about where do, um, where do these coaches come from, their tree, okay? Who has taught them and then what have they sprinkled on top of it to make it their own? Rhett Lashley. Okay, came here and ran the spread, right, Mark? Do you know that this man, he comes from the Gus Malzahn spread where it was all about running the football featuring the quarterback. But then when Red Lashley got his hands on it, especially his Miami version, it was more about the quarterback and wide receiver and it felt as if he just called runs just as dummy calls to get to, you know, second and nine or second and eight. But he really wanted to get to the part of the play sheet where we started airing it out. Again, that's just how we felt and how it felt to observe it and uh, to review it for me. Well, when I look at Coach Dawson's version of the air raid, I get a little bit of the same feeling. As far as it's very quarterback friendly, it's very wide receiver friendly as far as the way that he can get players open, the way his route combinations, the way he always has a check down. So those things are big, Mark. One big complaint we had about Josh Gaddis is it felt like everything was either down the field or it was intermediate. We didn't really help uh, Tyler with the dump off. We didn't help Tyler with being able to have – an escape route, an option to get out of a, out of that play. We didn't like him to make adjustments at the LOS because he was still learning the offense. All right. When I look at what Coach Dawson is going to bring to the table, the biggest question that I personally have is the running game incorporation that Coach Cristobal and Coach Mirabal and now uh, coach, the new running backs coach at the University of Miami, uh, Miami Hall of Famer in the track and field, and a very similar name to the Miami Hurricanes into the local Miami area, and that's Tim uh, Harris. Now, this is Tim Harris Jr., who ran track and, uh, and has earned his degree from the University of Miami way back in like 08, 09, when his brother Brandon Harris was playing at, for the Miami Hurricanes football team. His, his dad... Tim Ice Harris, Coach Ice Harris, 
who's a Booker T and Miami Northwestern legend and won a state championship at Miami Northwestern, Year of the Bull, if you ever heard of that video. And he also um, won a state championship at Booker T. Washington um, as, as the head coach there. He also was on this staff about a decade ago coaching running backs. Coach Ice Harris is here uh, leaving Booker T. High School to come on to Al Golden staff who really helped secure Joe Yearby's uh, flip from Tallahassee to Miami and also to solidify Mark Walton, who was a big-time running back prospect out of South, out of Miami who came to the University of Miami and is Miami Hurricanes' last 1,000-yard running back uh, in the last couple of seasons in, in, um, in Mark. But how are we going to do it? How are we going to incorporate it? Okay, how is Miami – going to really hone in on the run game. I love what he's doing in the past. I love how amazingly fluent it is with the quarterback position. Are we going to hire a wide receiver coach that it's going to make it, it's going to blend really good between the two? You know, I have a couple of questions. I don't think that it's just a seamless glove that we're going to slide on. And, Mark, we're going to the natty. I don't think that that's what's about to happen. I think there's going to be a lot of, of work and grinding going on. Uh, but I definitely I definitely like the hire. I like where Coach Dawson comes from. He spent years at West Virginia. Uh, and, then, and in his time, it wasn't the Pat White time. It was the Geno Smith years when he was there as the co-OC and wide receivers coach. And he did um, offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach there uh, in West Virginia. So that's huge. And also, it was a little bit of a different time where he showed his RPO and maybe mobile quarterback version because he was um, De'Aaron King's offensive coordinator uh, in his time uh, for the Houston Cougars. So I definitely like the hype for Miami. I think it's a step in the right direction, not only right now for Tyler, but the future with a young man in Ja'Curry Brown. And I think Miami is in good hands. Again, have a little questions about what we're going to do at wide receiver coach and how that meshes, but more importantly, how we're going to really incorporate this run game uh, out of the air raid.